Welcome to the Imperial German News Network. I'm Lieutenant Commander Kern on the Starship Soar. And now to the overview of today's topics. Former US Director of Intelligence says, aliens are very interested in our nuclear weapons. Is it really aliens that are crippling our nukes or the Imperial Germans? The Spanish flu. Was this really a pandemic in 1918 or was this just as imagined then as today's is alleged pandemic? Did people really die from the flu or did they die from the vaccinations afterwards? Blocking of Attila Hilton's channel on Telegram. Is this the first of only many blockings to come on Telegram? The World Jewish Congress has exerted pressure on Google and Apple to block Attila Hilton's channel. Is there a way around the blocking or is this the end of real free speech on the web? Russia Today publishes a video of the Black Vault which shows a massive UFO fleet in front of the moon. The Imperial Germans have bases on the moon and Mars and an inner world of Agartha. And now to the first topic of the day. Is it really extraterrestrials who paralyze the rocket silos or the Imperial Germans? From Russia Today, former US intelligence official, aliens are very interested in our nuclear weapons, 10th of June 2021. In an interview, former director of the US intelligence advanced aerospace threat identification program, Luis Elizondo, spills the beans. Not only are UFOs real, according to Elizondo, and capable of doing things that terrestrial technology cannot, they would also appear conspicuously often where nuclear technology exists. Luis Elizondo was the head of a former special US intelligence program designed to identify aerospace threats. The unit's official name was the Advanced Aerospace Threats Identification Program, AATIP. In a recent interview with the Washington Post, Elizondo said that aliens, or whoever was piloting the unidentified flying objects, appeared to be showing great interest in nuclear technology. Former US Navy pilots saw UFOs every day for a few years. There is some sort of intersection between these UIP or UFO sightings and our nuclear technology with nuclear propulsion, nuclear power generation or nuclear weapon systems. Elizondo claims to the newspaper. Moreover, he said, there have been similar observations in other countries. According to the former intelligence official, Aliens have had succeeded on more than one occasion in taking US technology offline. In other countries, they are even said to have accomplished the opposite, bringing it online. The hook for the Washington Post interview was a report the Pentagon recently prepared for Congress in connection with UFOs, or as the official US term is, UAPs, for unidentified aerial phenomena. According to initial excerpts leaked to the press, the report neither seeks to confirm nor rule out that UAPs could be aliens. But for Elizondo, there can only be one explanation. These things can do 3, 4 or 600 G in mid-flight. The video footage you would have seen points to technologies that could be anywhere from 50 to 1000 years ahead of us. They may frankly surpass anything we have in our inventory. And we're pretty sure our foreign adversaries have ever seen in their inventory, Elizondo told the Washington Post. The video footage, shot by military pilots, showed physically impossible things in some cases and said, in particular, the rapid changes in direction astounded Elizondo. Humans can withstand about 9G forces, or some of our best aircraft can withstand about 16G, the former intelligence official said. But these things do 3, 4 or 600G in mid-flight. They should also be able to fly at hypersonic speeds. While hypersonic technology already exists, Russia has several hypersonic missiles, for example. The sighted flying objects are also said to be able to fly extreme turns, something man-made objects have not yet been able to do. In addition, the UFOs are said to have the ability to camouflage themselves from human observers and operate in any medium, air, water, or vacuum of space, without sacrificing performance. The Pentagon had confirmed that much of the footage was genuine, and former Director of National Intelligence John Radcliffe stated early this year that the government possessed more material that had not yet been released. As we have been reporting on our channel for years, the Imperial Germans with their flying this have often paralyzed nuclear missile silos with their engine stopping means. The Germans also shot down intercontinental missiles from the Americans and the Russians. The evidence is on the web. The number of UFO sightings increased dramatically after World War II. About 70 to 80 percent of the UFO sightings are of Imperial German origin, but not all UFOs originate from the Imperial Germans. There are at least 12 or 13 different alien humanoid species visiting our Earth. There are also flying machines from the inner world of Agartha. We will now look at the next post about the Spanish flu. The Spanish flu, the lie of the century, author Center of Health, updated 4th of June 2021. In the current pandemic discussion, the so-called Spanish flu of 1918 is also brought up as an example of what consequences the mutation of a flu virus can have and that the virus of the so-called swine flu in 2009 is against such a mutation. It is worth taking a look back at the history of the Spanish flu at the time of the First World War, from 1918 onwards. The research brought up surprising results. 
misleading is not only the name of the disease, but apparently more serious. The Spanish flu came from the USA. The Spanish flu, which claimed up to 50 million lives from 1918 to 1920, originally had little to do with Spain. The epidemic began in Haskell County in the US state of Kansas in early 1918. It got its Spanish name for political reasons, so to speak. Because of press censorship in the belligerent states such as the USA, hardly anything was reported there about the swelling wave of influenza. The situation was different in Spain, which was not involved in the First World War. When every third inhabitant of Madrid had already fallen ill in the May of 1918, the Spanish press reported on the epidemic without censorship and earned their country the name of the epidemic. Although the catastrophe had begun in the USA, that is also where most of the eyewitness accounts came from. Report of an eyewitness account. Only vaccinated people fell ill. Among the authentic reports from that time, vaccination condemned by Eleonora McBean and Rice translation by Hans Teutzin is the most cited. Here are some excerpts. All the doctors and people who were alive at the time of the Spanish flu in 1918 said it was the most terrible disease the world had ever seen. Strong men who appeared healthy and spry on one day were dead the next. Strikingly, the Spanish flu had the characteristics of the very diseases against which the people had been vaccinated immediately after World War I. Plague, typhoid, pneumonia, smallpox, virtually the entire population had been contaminated with toxic vaccines. The administration of toxic drugs virtually kept the pandemic alive. As far as is known, only vaccinated people fell ill with the Spanish flu. Those who refused the injections escaped the flu, so did eyewitness Elora McBean. My family had refused all vaccinations, so we stayed healthy the whole time. We knew from the health teachings of Graham Trill Tilden that you can't contaminate the body with poisons without causing illness. At the height of the epidemic, all stores, school businesses, and even the hospitals were closed. Even doctors and nurses had been vaccinated and were down with the flu. It was like a ghost town. We seemed to be the only family without the flu. We were not vaccinated. So my parents went from house to house to take care of the sick. But they didn't get the flu. And they didn't bring home microbes that attacked us kids. No one from our family had the flu. It was claimed that the epidemic killed 20 million people worldwide in 1918. But in reality, doctors killed them with their crude treatments and medications. The charge is harsh but accurate, and it's born out of the success of naturopathic doctors. And further, while mainstream doctors from one third of the flu cases die, naturopathic hospitals achieved cure rates of nearly 100%. So even with the Spanish flu, people were vaccinated at the time, and many people died as a result of the vaccination, and not the flu itself. The true rulers poisoned us in all possible aspects. And now to the next topic, the censorship of Attila Hildmann on Telegram. Attila Hildmann is now being prosecuted by the German judiciary. All we can do now is wait and see. Attention all Telegram users, please watch this video and share. Telegram is an open source application, which means anyone can virtually create their own version of Telegram. The App Store, Apple OS and Play Store, Google Android have created recorded versions that compromise data security. The original has a solid blue background, not white. We recommend downloading the original app from the website, installing it, and then uninstalling the store app. No chat history data will be lost. The file size of the store apps is quite a bit larger, so we don't know what Google and Apple have added to the code. If Telegram bows to censorship, then possibly all alternative channels on Telegram will be deleted. There will be no more free expression of opinion on the internet. Attila Hilton has his own website and forum, which will still be accessible in the future. We will now watch a short video of the UFO sightings on the moon.
As you can see, the Imperial Germans, or IGs, are also on the moon. And now we'll look at some memes to cheer up the mind a little. Nothing is so easily mistaken for exaggeration as the depiction of the plain truth, Joseph Conrad. The next meme. And here we have a meme from the German built newspaper and it says, a professor shows the numbers, school closures were unnecessary. A person in Germany is more likely to get hit by lightning than to end up in an intensive care ward because of COVID. The next meme, we see Leonardo DiCaprio holding a wine and it says here in German, now you're considered a Nazi when you're healthy. The next meme, a citation from the King of Prussia, Friedrich the Great, a government has to be economical or frugal because the money it gets originates from the blood and sweat of its people. Friedrich the Great, King of Prussia. And the next meme, would you have guessed it? This is Chicago in the year 1893. It looks like a beautiful ancient Roman city. Well, I hope you found this video informative. Do not forget to rate and subscribe and hit the bell button. And if you can make a small donation, the details are in the description. Many greetings from the Starship store and cheers!